sports fans, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zoe. And today, I thought we'd have a little fun. If you saw my uh, previous two comparison videos for the White Sox, you saw that I compared them to the Twins, who are in the AL Central with the White Sox. And I compared them to the Kansas City Royals, who are also in the AL Central with the White Sox. But today I thought we'd have a little fun and compare them to the Chicago Cubs, their crosstown rivals. Why? Because they play the Cubs every year. And we can get bragging rights for Chicago this year, which we have not been able to have in the last, well, several years because the Cubs have been better. So, I thought it would be fun to compare them to them because, I mean, we're going to play them. I mean, you know, we're going to play the Cubs a few times this year. And um, both teams will be uh, battling it out for the Chicago sports baseball entertainment dollar in Chicago land. So... I figure maybe we should see what we're in store for. Even though we aren't going to be contending with them for a particular playoff spot. But we will be playing them. So now again, this is about the same chart that, in fact it is, the same chart that um, I had laid out in the... Uh, in the video where I compared the White Sox to the Royals. So just a quick recap on that. You've got the lineup, Lewis Robert in center, Tim Anderson at short, Moncada at third, Abreu at first, Encarnacion at DH, Grandal at catcher, Jimenez at, in left, Mazzara in right, and Mendick and or, and or Mandrigal at second, and it could even be Lurie Garcia at second. We don't know. We're going to have to wait and see what happens with all that. Um, I put Lewis Robert at the top of the lineup because um, neither Anderson nor Moncada is all that great at getting on base. They hit for good averages, but their on-base percentages are only just a little higher than their batting averages. So if they have a great batting average, that's nice. You know, the on-base is kind of there, but they don't have the patience, potentially, that Lewis Robert would have. And Lewis Robert is a speedy dude who can steal a lot of bases, so I put him there, but who knows? We'll see what happens. Um, then you got, with the uh, rotation, you got Gilito, Keuchel, um, Ronaldo Lopez, Gio Gonzalez, and Dylan Cease. Uh, I'm assuming Cease is going to be in the rotation, but we'll wait and see on that because Kopech may have something to say about it. And so out in the bullpen, we've got Kopech, Cordero, Calame, Bummer, Marshall, Fulmer, Fry, and Herrera. Um, like I said in the last video, you've got other guys that could be in that mix potentially. Um, like Dylan Cubby and um, um, well there's a few others um, but you know we're gonna see what happens when um, when spring training gets underway and uh, and then who actually makes it because really with a lot of teams the bullpen is what's really up in the air going into spring training the lineups Pretty much um, the players are set that are going to be in the lineups. Pretty much the starting rotations are set. It's just a question of who, who's going to comprise a team's bullpen a lot of the time. And I think that that's going to be no different for, um, for the uh, White Sox. And then, of course, you got their bench. Lurie Garcia, James McCann, Zach Collins, and Adam Engel. So that's what you got, what you're looking at potentially for their bench. That brings us to the Cubs. 
So the Cubs lineup is a lot of the guys that you've seen in past years for the Cubs, and that'll happen when you have a good team and the guys are still under contract. So you got Rizzo at first, Bryant at third, Javi Baez at shortstop, um, Schwarber at, in left, Wilson Contreras at catcher, Jason Hayward in right, Ian Happ in center, who's been up and down and all around with the Cubs and you know, the last few years. And then David Bote at second. So, I mean, you know, that's, just, you know, the usual suspects. That's, there's no surprises there with that lineup. Again, is that going to be the exact lineup? We don't know because, um, you know, the Cubs have a new manager in um, David, what's his name, that used to be their catcher. Um, so... The rotation, you're looking at Darvish, Quintana, former White Sox, um, Hendricks, Lester, and Chatwood. So that's the the line, the rotation. Now the bullpen has some new guys. That's the only thing that's uh, you know pretty much um, going to be different, a new look for the Cubs. You got. Kimbrell, who was terrible last year after he signed a contract for a lot of money and a lot of years, and so the Cubs are potentially saddled with a Fodmaster as their closer. And then you've got uh, Ryan Wick, Alec Mills, Ryan Tapera, Colin Ray, and Dan Winkler out in that bullpen. So it's not a very good bullpen. In fact, I would say that bullpen isn't even as good as our bullpen at the moment. Um, so, and then Darvish, of course, is coming off an injury-plagued season or a season where he missed a lot of games. But, uh, you know, these other guys are, you know, pretty solid. They've got a track record. Uh, Chet Wood has a history of walking a lot of guys, so we're going to have to see what happens with that whether he actually nails down that fifth rotation spot and then of course you know these guys they're you know the usual you know Hayward had a solid year last year not as good as the year before but he's a solid player and he's a great defensive right fielder Rizzo of course always hits for a high average and a lot of home runs Bryant same deal with him uh, Baez uh, always hits for a good average and some power and some pop. Uh, Schwarber is uh, an on-base machine. He's a terrible left fielder, but he's an on-base machine. So, I mean, that's what you get with the Cubs. And then, of course, down here on the bench, you've got Almora, Hernan Perez, Victor Caratini, and David Descalzo. So, that's what the Cubs look like. Um, they are still um, a force to be reckoned with, I think. I don't know if they're going to be good enough to win the, the uh, NL Central or even make the playoffs because the other teams are getting a lot better. The Cincinnati Reds have improved dramatically. Milwaukee is always a thorn in their side. And the St. Louis Cardinals always kind of seem to figure out a way to put a good team out on the field. So the Cubs have a pretty, um, pretty stacked division that they, uh, that they have to uh, be in and contend with. Whereas we really don't. The White Sox really only have the Twins to contend with, I think. And... You know, the other teams on the division are really just stepping stones at the moment. So, that's where we are. But, what do you guys think? Do you guys like the, uh, you like the matchup this year between uh, the uh, Chicago teams playing? You like, you, you like it for the uh, White Sox in the White Sox favor? 
or do you think that uh, maybe the Cubs are still a little better than the White Sox? I think the rotations are roughly, I would say roughly similar. I think their bullpen is probably worse than ours though. And then the lineups I think are also roughly similar. So, and then I would give a slight edge possibly to the Cubs on the bench. So it's not like it's a slam dunk that, you know, we're gonna beat up on the Cubs. But I would be interested to hear what everybody thinks, especially the Chicago fans, the White Sox fans. You must know a lot about the Cubs because it's the same city. And uh, I'm sure you hear quite a bit about the Cubs. So um, leave a comment, like if you like the video, remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and send it to uh, someone you think might be interested. But I would be very interested to hear what the Chicago land people out there think of this matchup for 2020 and whether the White Sox are starting to turn the corner and be the big boy on the block instead of the kid that keeps getting beaten up. So, but that's it for me right now. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.